In a nutshell, it seems we have come up with the first open source cloud broker, as defined by Gartner, a cloud service intermediation, aggregation, and cloud service arbitrage. And it is compliant with the NIST reference architecture. It's a blueprint for developer, operators, and DevOps, where models and documents can be shared by developers and operators, customers and vendors. The manifest. It provides support for interoperability, portability, and reversibility. Now, let's work together and see what the future brings. Um, to dare and provide a quick demonstration of multiple provisioning. Um, it's always in the last 10 seconds that this has to be performed, but I'm not frightened. If I can remember the password, I'll be all right. OK. <coughs> no fears. Oh. So working in our proof of concept directory, I will start the Compatible One platform rather the Accords platform. Here we see the publication services, the file services, security services, monitoring, networking, accountancy, elasticity, parser, broker, proxy, OpenStack, Open Nebula, and oops, Windows Azure. The servers are now running. We have a command tool which allows us to submit the parser for uh, a document for processing. I have a simple manifest which it's an XML file. Quickly, we can see that we have an SQL database component, and its provider is Open Nebula. We have the XWiki platform, and its provider is OpenStack. So we have configuration information which requires that the XWiki be connected to the SQL database, and we allow certain people to use it. So we will process that using the parser. So the manifest is. absorbed by the system, and it's done. And then, if really the internet is with me, because these components are not on my local machine, as you saw from the SSH connection, I'm operating on a distant platform working with an OpenStack platform somewhere in Paris and uh, an OpenDebula platform somewhere else in France. So we're really working on a, a live situation. Now, he's taken the plan and he's launched an action, which is to instance the plan. And obviously, this is an asynchronous polling system. However, the provisioning within Compatible 1 has to wait until it's completed. Here we have a couple of supposed failures. Well, it's, complex, uh, it's a problem with the JSON interpreter on this machine. Um, but we have, I'm pretty sure, uh, if we have a list of the compute instances, which I could have done before to prove it, we will have one compute instance which has been created on the TSB platform. And if I get that compute instance, uh, which is which, 716, it's got a public IP address, 157.159.24.222. And if I use the Enavance interface to list the servers, there's quite a few. Um, it's probably going to be the last one, 690701. So I'll retrieve that. Seven oh one. And here we can see that it's OpenStack database 157159259222 is dynamically being configured by the platform. Now, time is short. Here we've actually provisioned two, two things. Now, I'll just simply request that we stop these, this service because no point in taking provisioning resources for nothing and let that run. It's terrible. Thank you very much now.